My name is Aurélien, I'm a model lead for the LEGO Technic project. I'm here today to present you the Ferrari Daytona SP3. So this is one of the most sophisticated uh, LEGO Technic that we developed to date. On the other side we have a very, very cool looking car, very uh, organic shaped. You can open the rear section, the front, also the doors in a butterfly. And also because it's a Targa we can remove the roof on the cabin. So it's a two-wheel drive shaft on the rear, so it's wheel driven. And on the front you have the steering, so you can also control the steering of the car. Fully suspended vehicle. Inside then you have more sophisticated functions, which are really true to technique, such as a gearbox mechanism with a paddle shifter behind the steering wheel. You can shift the gears, and then you can change the, the speed of the piston in the motor. And it's a V12 uh, engine. In the interior of the car, you also have a lot of uh, cool details. We've made some really nice uh, detailed seats, driver and passenger. There's only two seats, of course, in the supercar. Behind the steering wheel, then you have the paddle shifter. So this is like in real car, a sports car, you will uh, change the speeds just with the paddle uh, behind the steering wheel, and that will uh, then affect the, the functions of the gearbox, so then you will change speeds, uh, real speeds, in the model. Then you have the, the shifter for the drive mode, so you can go in a drive position, neutral or reverse. And that also then changes the, the spinning of the, the piston engine. What was quite challenging for this uh, model to recreate was we couldn't see the car in real. Because they were developing it at the same time and it was still very secret. During the whole process, we had to, to build the car just based on images and feedback from the partner. Normally you would be able to see the car and then that will help you a lot to recreate the shapes and in that case that was uh, one of the biggest challenges I think for Uber to, to be able to understand what he had to improve and what was functioning and not. We spoke mostly with the, the design team in Ferrari headquarters. There was a couple of designers that were involved in that project so we were in direct contact with them. That car is very unique and has a lot of uh, difficult uh, organic curves on the exterior. After a lot of tries and uh, a lot of effort from Uber, we managed to, to pull that off and make something that is truly exceptional and seeing the car today, it's, it's quite amazing the, the work he has done. Uber had a chance to travel to Italy. I think that was quite amazing for Uber to, after many, many months of uh, development and struggles with the, recreating the car, to be able to see the real thing. That was quite, uh, quite spectacular. My name is uh, Daniel Sudarsono, design manager. I'm an element lead uh, in LEGO Technic. I was really excited to, to start on this model because uh, we work with Ferrari before, but not this scale. For this particular model, we, we develop a lot of elements. We develop uh, in total 12 new elements, and we were focusing on three areas. One is uh, on the wheel itself. Uh, we made a new, new rims left and right, new tire as well. We develop new panels, and then we also develop improving our function by developing four gears. We implement new type of uh, a tread pattern in the tire itself. It is, uh, it is new tread pattern that we have in LEGO actually. It is visually authentic that it is, uh, looks like a slick tire. Both us, LEGO Technic and Ferrari, we are happy with the, with the result that we get. So on this uh, model, we are introducing uh, four new gears Two we're using for the differentials, and then two we're using for the gearbox. The whole product itself is a is a masterpiece. It, it creates something amazing, capturing all the details and the, the curvature of the car, the, the organic shape as well, and packing with all the functions. We also try to think like how they will assemble the car in Ferrari, in the the factory in Italy, and we want to recreate the same steps. So when you, you build your LEGO representation of the car, then you, you, you feel like yourself you are uh, in the factory seeing the car being assembled as well. And you can learn also how the functions are working in the real car. And I think that's uh, also quite, quite magical that you can learn a lot as well from the, the LEGO Technic platform. Delivering the, the, the first big, big Ferrari for the assortment, I think that was also quite special.